It's Thursday, May 22nd, 2008, and I have been waiting for years to say that. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Hillary Clinton is in Florida and has compared the effort to seat Florida and Michigan delegates to civil rights struggles against racial and gender discrimination at the ballot box. So are the voters in Florida and Michigan being discriminated against because of the color of their skin or their gender? Well, no, actually, their real problem is just living in Michigan and Florida. Now, I don't know much about Michigan, but I have to say, I always just assumed people moved to Florida so they could be relieved of the pressure of having their votes actually count. People go to Florida so they can either retire peacefully or enjoy some youthful beachfront frolicking, and neither of those activities should involve worrying about such downer topics as democracy. Next, John McCain is hosting a couple's retreat this weekend at his place in Arizona. The New York Times reported that those invited include former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, Florida Governor Charlie Crist, and Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, all of whom have been mentioned as potential running mates. However, a McCain advisor who has also been invited told CNN that it's purely a social weekend. Apparently the kind of social weekend where you invite people guaranteed to suck up to you the entire time. Finally, the House of Representatives has overridden President Bush's veto of the massive farm bill. Just one tiny problem, the bill the president vetoed, the bill that Congress sent to him, was missing a section. Apparently no one noticed ahead of time because honestly, reading legislation is really, really boring. But now Congress might have to pass the bill all over again. So to recap, the American people threw out the Republican Congress because they hate the job they're doing, and then they get the Democratic Congress, which somehow can't even hold it together long enough to send the president the right bill. No, <laughs> call me crazy. <laughs> Not that anyone ever has. But this may help explain why some people think that Congress can't legislate its way out of a wet paper bag. Although in fairness, H.R. 1432, the Hydrated Satchel Egress Act of 2008, was a good faith effort. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash nothing for more stories. And don't worry, if you still haven't figured out why I'm wearing this hat, all I can tell you is that in watching this video today, you have chosen wisely right here on Kotecki TV. Oh, no, a huge tennis ball is coming right for me. It's coming behind. It's the tennis ball from a, a temple of... A oh, no, there it is again! Oh, my God!